Aloha and welcome to Hula Preservation Society's collections on Papa Kilo Database. Papa Kilo is an online database of databases launched in 2011 and managed by the Office of Hawaiian Affairs. It brings together cultural and historic resources, land records, maps, genealogy indexes, Hawaiian language newspapers, and other related materials from various community organizations. HPS partnered with Papa Kilo in 2013 to share select materials from our archive, and we have over a dozen mini collections that include paper materials, photographs, and audio clips. This tutorial is a brief overview on navigating HPS's image and audio-based collections on Papa Kilo. They include scanned photographs and slides, digitized audio disc snippets, and clips from reel-to-reel -reel tape. When first visiting Papa Kilo, there are multiple ways to browse and search the site for information. The easiest way to view materials in HPS's mini collections is to search by collection. A listing of all collections available on Papa Kilo will appear. You can use the search bar above the listing to search all collections, but here we will just focus on those from the HPS archive. Click the checkbox next to our name. HPS's mini collections will display. You can search all of them at once or designate specific collections of interest. Let's check out one image collection for now, the Kent Gerard collection. Kent Gerard was born in 1918 into the famous Girardelli chocolate family of San Francisco. He was a fascinating man who created the premier 1950s hula troupe he named the Hula Nunnies. Instead of working in the family business, he pursued his passion for the music and dance of Hawaii. While his hula nani troupe was a mainstay in Waikiki hotels and USO shows, as was typical of that time, Uncle had the opportunity to travel with his troupe throughout Japan after the end of World War II. He also held extended engagements at Chicago's prestigious Edgewater Beach Hotel in North America. His dancers were noted for their professionalism, beauty, hula skill, presentation, and precision. Uncle Kent gifted his personal collection of slides, photo albums, and scrapbooks to Hula Preservation Society. To view items in Uncle Kent's collection, we will uncheck all other mini collection boxes and click search. Results of our search will appear at right displaying the item titles, the collection they are in, in this case all of these images are in Uncle Kent's collection, and a set of thumbnails. Click on the thumbnail with an eye to display more information about an item. Click on the center thumbnail to open the information in a separate browser window. Click on the last thumbnail to view the digital item. Let's take a look at this image from Uncle's collection. Here Uncle captured a picture of the Naniloa Hotel in 1947. It was built eight years earlier and became a popular vacation spot on Hilo Bay. Tourism was continually expanding across the islands and as time went on, travel to Hawaii was no longer restricted to wealthy patrons as it had been when Uncle Kent first visited Hawaii in 1931 on a family vacation. This item's record info tells us information about who created this material, locations that are associated with the item, a short description of the item, a date or dates of the item if available, a special field that reflects Uncle Kent's original written notations on the image. Not all image records will have this special field the name of the digital file to reference when inquiring about the image, and information on how to contact Hula Preservation Society. We can also view the digital item from the small image thumbnail below the title. Now let's take a look at an audio-based mini collection from HPS. In the Cook Family Mele audio collection, we find snippets of Hawaiian and Hapahale music from the 1930s to the 1960s. This set was compiled by Uncle George Jippy Cook and reflects his family's favorites. Uncle Jippy's family lived on different islands, but his grandfather was well known as the manager of Molokai Ranch. The family was very musical and Uncle grew up learning to sing and play ukulele. 
He was influenced by Hawaiian musicians who were friends of the family, cowboys on the ranch, and Waikiki Beach Boys whom he hung out with as a young man. Uncle Jippy developed a unique ukulele strumming technique inspired by old time styles and he became an enthusiastic and passionate collector of Hawaiian song lyrics and recordings. Our results display a listing of audio clips by Mele title. Let's take a look at the Mele Haleakala. Uncle Jippy provided insights and information on this Mele, so there is a short write up of his sharing. The composer and artist of the Mele is listed along with the recording company and recording format. There is also a description. It reads This 1920s Mele speaks of the famous mountain of Haleakala on Maui. The cooks resided in Waihe'e Maui during the late 1930s into the 40s, while Uncle Jippy Cook's father worked for the Wailuku Sugar Company. However, Uncle Jippy spent much of his upbringing at their family home in Ka'uluvai, Molokai, where his grandparents had remained. In those days, his grandmother Sophie was taking hula lessons from Kumu Hula Vicky Burroughs. Sophie was fluent in Hawaiian, and Uncle Jippy said she always tried to do things to promote Hawaiian culture to the community. In May of 1940, they decided to have an exposition to demonstrate what they had learned in hula class. It was held at their home in Kauluvai. Sophie hired a group of musicians from Oahu to provide the music, created costumes and lei, and had a huge lauhala mat placed on the front lawn. They invited everyone they knew to come and enjoy the hoike. After the expo, she hired Kumu Vicky to create photograph recordings of the mele that had been performed at the event. These songs were privately recorded at the KGMB studio in Honolulu. Let's listen to a snippet of the recording. Click on the third thumbnail with a music note icon. The audio will open and play in a separate browser tab. Select materials from other HPS image and audio collections are viewable on Papakilo, including photographs from the Hawaiian Room collection. The Hawaiian Room was a pioneering supper club in New York City from 1937 to 1966. Hundreds of musicians, singers, and dancers from Hawaii worked in the room, which regularly hosted celebrities, dignitaries, and politicians during its historic 30-year run. The James B. and Ronnie Lipinski collection contains images taken by the family while they were stationed in Hawaii in the 1950s and includes scenic and iconic landscapes, venues, and activities from the island of Oahu. A set of hula ki'i images associated with hula master Nona Beamer is available, highlighting this rare ancient form of dance. There is also a set of audio clips of Hawaiian mele from the 1930s to the 1950s. These mele correlate to hula routines in the Vivian Huapala Mater collection. Since the record information for this mele indicates it has a corresponding hula note, we can do a search to find both the audio clip and the notes. An easy way to do this is to search within HPS's collections on Papakilo. Click on Hula Preservation Society. In the search bar at the top, Type Emilani. Our search using Emilani across HPS collections reveals two records, the audio snippet and the hula notes or routine. Let's listen to the snippet and view the routine. We hope you enjoy your time learning about these mini image and audio collections from the HPS archive, and we encourage you to explore more. If you need help with your research, have questions, or would like to inquire about formal use of HPS materials, please email us at archive at hulapreservation.org or submit an archive inquiry form on our website.
Navigate to the Research and Learning tab on the HPS website and choose HPS Archive. You can access and submit the Archive Inquiry form from here. The Archive page also provides information on visiting HPS, making a research appointment either in person or virtually, and use of materials. We invite you to also visit our online collections website, Digital Umeke, to access more materials from the HPS Archive, including transcripts, photographs, finding aids, footage lists, and video clips from our oral history library. Mahalo for joining us. Mala mapono.